Hello guys, welcome to another video by Project Maker. Myself Aditya. In this video, I will be demonstrating my new project in which I have automated Subway Surfers game and Temple Run game using my post detection method. In last video, we saw a weightlifter project in that I taught you how we can count ups and downs. Now, in this video, I will be demonstrating how we can automate a game using a complex version of post detection model. So, for that, I have finalized two games, which is Subway Surfers and Temple Run, because both of these games have same commands or controls. Also, after watching the project demo, you might have got excited that how you can control the game. So, before starting this video, if you are new to this channel, then hit the subscribe button and click on bell icon to watch my video first, to learn how to build such type of project within minimum amount of time. Now, without wasting any time, let's move to the destination folder and discuss how I created the project. So this is a destination folder which contains one python file and one requirements file. So let's create first virtual environment to run this python file. For that I will simply open this folder in vs code. As you can see vs code has opened in the folder. Now let's open terminal here. Now let's check the python version. So for that I will simply type python and hit enter. So current version of python is 3.7.7 .7. that's ok for us as the program require python 3 or higher version. Now to create virtual environment you have to install one package which is pip install virtual env. I have already installed this package that's why requirement is already satisfied is coming. Now let's just clear the screen and I will create the virtual environment using command virtual env and the environment name. So I will keep the environment name as subway env and just hit enter. I will just close it and as you can see the environment is successfully created here. Now to activate the environment you have to type following commands first the name of that environment. So I will simply type suv which is starting three letters, hit tab button, then capital S, hit tab button, capital A, hit tab button and just hit enter. So the virtual environment has got activated here as you can see. Now let's install the requirements for the project. So I will simply type pip install minus r which means read requirements.txt file which is this file and the contents of the file are first is opencv numpy pandas mediapy and py auto gui opencv to capture our frame numpy pandas for basic maths operation mediapy to add land poses and marks on ourselves py auto gui to automate keyboard and mouse using our gestures so let's run this command that we just type and as you can see it is just installing the packages like numpy, pandas, opencv, mediapy and py auto gui now till that time let's open the main file 
so these are the basic packages and this is the code that is developed to detect our hand gestures actually i have not written this code on myself i have taken help for an another youtube video which is this youtube video it is created by bleed ai academy in which the person explains the code line by line and he will explain the code in such a way that you will definitely understand it only the problem in his explanation was that he has run the coding jupyter notebook and sometimes the jupyter notebook doesn't play a good role that's why i have just taken reference from the code demonstrated in this video added special features that can make the code more interesting and just tried the subway surfers and temple run game on this code don't worry the link of this video will be available to you along with the source code of the project so let's move to the vs code and till that time the packages are installed successfully now let's run the program to run the program there is simple command which is python main dot py so i will simply hit enter button and i will stand up now so my first step will be to join my both hands so that two lines will be come in open cv window so i will just step two step behind I just myself in the center of the screen, which is here, oh, which is here at current moment, and just raise close my hands here. And as you can see, the program has started here, and the four lines have come in front of me. Before starting the game, I would like to explain you the basic rules. So the first step must be you must stand exactly in center of the screen. Where the meeting point of the student must be near to your chest, and the two points must be below the horizontal line. So in this position, you will be standing, and in the middle line of the game. And when you step right side, then you will be moved to the right side of the line, which is right uh, right side of the subway surface. And when you come here, then you will move to the left side of subway surface again. And if you simply jump. Jump in the sense that these two points must come above this horizontal line. Then you will perform jump action, and when you go down, then the roll action will be get performed. So let's play the game to understand it better. I will just start here. I am in the middle of screen as you can see. Now I will simply jump. Take the points by moving this side. I can come in center, down, up. So I am dead. So this is jump, taking the points, moving this side in the center, in right place, down, right, down. So as you can see, I am dead. Now let's try subway surfers again. So I will simply type here subway surfers. I hope the website is correct. No. Subway surfers. And simply open the same website which is Poki. Now let's wait. So game has started. Right, down, left. So I am dead. Now the game is over. I mean, if I simply join my hands, then game will get restarted by using this. So game has restarted here. I am dead once again. So as you can see, I am dead once again. Now let's stop the game. So as you can see, we have enjoyed two games, which is Subway Surfers and Temple Run game, using our post detection method and performing. Movements. This game can be very helpful for the developers who sit for four, five hours at one place and just do coding. For them, playing this game daily, ten minutes can definitely help them to stay physically fit. So let's close the window and close the game. You can simply close this by clicking Escape button or Q button. So the game is closed as you can see. So this is the data that it has printed. So let's close it now. 
So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, then don't forget to share it with your family and friends. And all the source code material along with the YouTube video link is available in the video description. You can definitely try out this project. And if you face any difficulties while running this project, you can simply message me on Instagram or in comment section below. I would love to help you always. Here comes the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video.